What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and today is all about upgrading your SCCM to 2203. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I open up my SCCM console and I went to administration, updates and servicing. And as you can see, I don't have the configuration manager 2203. So the only way to get this particular update is to enable the fast ring. The next thing that I did within my server is I clicked on the start menu and I typed in control panel and I clicked on control panel. And from here I went to programs and features. And the first thing that I typically do is check if I'm running the latest Windows ADK. And I am currently running version 10.1.22.000.1. And if you go online uh, and you look up Windows ADK versions right now, Windows 11 10.1 is, you know, compatible for the configuration manager 2203. So I'm all set. Now, if I did not have the latest Windows ADK, you will go here, download it, and you're going to install it. Now, before you install the new Windows ADK, you have to remove whatever version that you have on your server before you update your Windows ADK. So remove it and then install the new one. Now on my SCCM server, I already downloaded the enable early update ring 2203. I'm going to double click on it and it's going to give me this. I am going to click OK and extraction is completed. So click OK. And on the desktop, it's basically gonna drop a PowerShell script. From here, I'm going to click on the start menu and then start typing PowerShell, Windows PowerShell. And I'm gonna right click on the Windows PowerShell IAC and run it as an administrator. It's gonna start, it's gonna load up, and we're basically gonna to go to file, open, and locate that enable early update ring 2203, and we're gonna open it. Take a look at it. And then once you're, you know, everything is okay, you're going to basically run the script or press F5. When you run it, it's going to ask for your site server. Your site server is basically your SCCM full qualified name. Now for me, it is bj-sccm.btnhd.edu. If everything works well, you should get the command completed successfully. Now, next thing that we need to do is click on start and we are going to click on your configuration manager console. From here, I am going to go inside administration, updates and servicing. And as you can see, I have configuration manager 2203 available to download. So we're going to select it, right click on it, and then click on download. Now, once I did that, it took forever. I would say to myself, like, what's going on? Probably this is something new. I refreshed my machine. I restarted my machine. I looked at the logs and it was still stuck on available to download. So this is a common problem and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. From here, you're going to right click one of the columns. So you get this nice little menu and you're going to pick package GUID. And then you're gonna go all the way to your right hand side and you're going to locate the package uh, ID for the 2203 you know, update. So you're gonna jot that down. Once you jot that down, you're going to go into your database server and you're gonna open up Microsoft uh, SQL Server Management Studio, and you're gonna run this following command with the package ID that you got for Configuration Manager 2203. You're gonna run it. Everything should work with no problem. You're going to go back inside your SCCM server. You're gonna open up your services, and you're going to locate the SMS underscore executive. You're gonna right click on that, and you're gonna click on restart. You're gonna restart the services. Once you restart the services, go back inside your console and just click on the refresh button. If everything works well, it's going to change to downloading, which is a good thing. I was super happy because it took almost two or three hours and it, nothing was happening. Now, underneath the state column, it's going to change to ready to install. That allows you to right click on the package and then click on install update pack. From here, if you want to ignore the prerequisites, quits, go for it, click on next. These are all the included updates and features for this particular version. So I'll click next. If you wanna update your clients, go for it. I left it as the default, which is upgrade without validating, click next. Accept the license and terms and then click next. I don't have a cloud attached, so I just basically uncheck enable cloud attach. 
click next here, a nice summary, click next and a green check mark, which is always a good thing. And then just click on close. Now underneath the state column, it is going to start saying installing, which is a good thing. And if you select it and click on show status, it's going to take you here select this right click on it and then click on show status it's going to give you a nice bird's eye view of what's happening behind the scenes a lot of green check marks which is a good thing now eventually when you click on the refresh button you're going to get this is going to say there's a new version for the console so click ok your entire SCCM management console is going to close it's going to start downloading the files it's going to start prepping the installation and eventually when everything is done, it's going to load up. So on your left hand side, I'm going to click on the file tab and I'm going to click on about configuration manager and it's up to date version 2203, which is a good thing. Now, next thing that I did was I went inside administration updates and servicing, and you can also go inside here and it will tell you underneath the state column that it is installed. So configuration manager 2203 was done. When you upgrade your SCCM, it updates everything for you. But for this update, it did not update my boot image. So I had to go inside software. Uh, I had to go inside operating systems and boot images. And as you can see underneath, it's red, it's failed, it didn't update. I had to right click my 64 boot image. And then from here, I just clicked on update distribute points and you get the nice little wizard. As you can see, the version that I currently have uh, is old. It's 90.68.10.26. And the latest one is 90.78.10.06, right? So click on next, next here. It's going to start making the copies, updating the WIM images. And once everything is done, you're going to get green check mark and then click on close. Now, if everything works well underneath the status of your boot image that you just updated, it's going to change to in progress. If you give it some time, it should change to success and it has been updated, which is a good thing. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to upgrade your SCCM to 2203. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.